Hey guys, so today I wanted to share with you what is in my July makeup basket. I love having all the items that I am reaching for in this makeup basket. I put on top of my vanity, so whenever I have time to do makeup, I will do a quick look with these items, and they're kind of already picked out for me. There are items that are in some project pans. There are some items that are like the oldest in my collection, some items that I just want to pull more. So let's jump into my big kind of palette things that sit right next to it that can't really fit into this thing. But these are kind of what I'm working on really for eyeshadows. So I still have my Z palette. You guys are knowing, no, that I am working on the last three shadows of my Urban Decay and Naked palette. This is Buck, Naked, and Dark Horse. So I have this out and I have been playing more with the two Anastasia shades right here. This is Rosette and Electro. So those two shades I play with a lot too. Also I've been playing with my Stila Kitten, I believe. No, Urban Decay Sin as well. So this is always next to me on my vanity. Also been pulling for my Urban Decay Naked 3 palette. I wanted kind of the older like matte white shade for my highlight brow and that is this shade right here in Strange. And you can tell I'm almost done with that. So once I finish that I will look at the next oldest kind of matte white highlight shade and be working on that but that's why this is in my makeup basket right now. Then I am also working on this palette right here. This is my the chocolate chop from the Too Faced. I got this Christmas in New York a couple of years ago maybe two years ago and I've been working on this butterscotch shade which is right there that is in my pan that palette roulette edition so I have been pulling for this I've also been using other shades like this glaze desserts on me and yeah just different kind of fun shades I've been playing with lately with that and you guys know my Laura Pro palette I don't know if I'll be done with this I might end up decluttering it but at the end of the year, but I still have these three shades. I've definitely been working on the deep purple shade a lot more, and hopefully we'll be able to use that up in the next couple of months. But yeah, still working on this. About two years in the making. And then some other kind of face palettes that I've been working on. The Wet n Wild Mega Glow Highlighting Illuminating Palette. My pan that, or project panned, I want to hit pan on Diamond Lily, which is this blue highlighter don't reach for it that often but I do have this out for me to be more mindful to use it and then my Too Faced the little black book of bronzers I got this a couple summers ago in 2015 and I finished up two of the bronzers already lately I've been working on this milk chocolate Soleil bronzer and every now and then I work on the pink leopard bronzer as well. I use Pink Leopard as like my blush, not for today, but um, I have been reaching for this and this is kind of my go-to bronzer set whenever I am doing bronzer lately for this month. So getting into what is all in this little bag. Oh, I forgot to mention. Hourglass Ambient Lighting Trio. I have Radiant Light and Incandescent Light left. You can see Radiant Light. You can start seeing the etching so I'm almost done with that and then I'll be done once I finish incandes incandescent light foundation Urban Decay Naked Skin my favorite free purchase so many times so going into all these little products I have my primer I'm using this is the Urban Decay eyeshadow primer potion and anti-aging it's nice I probably won't repurchase I have a roller ball in here. This is the Juicy Couture Viva La Juicy, Viva La Juicy La Fleur. It's in a Summer Movie Madness Project Pan. Then I have a primer that I'm using. This is the Becca Backlight Priming Filter. And I believe this is in a Rolling Project 10 Pan. Um, I used to like it, but I don't think I like it anymore. I definitely prefer that Cover FX Illuminating Primer, primer over this. Um, so I won't be purchasing a full size of this once I'm done. I got this from a Sephora Playbox a while ago, so I'm just trying to use this up. 
Then for another kind of primer, I have the first Aid Beauty, this is the Coconut Skin Smoothie Priming Moisturizer. I haven't tried this out in a while, um, so I am putting in this basket. I remember really liking this and almost purchasing a full size of this, so I will use it this month and see kind of if I still like it as much. Then in my Simple Sunday videos, I pulled the Benefit Professional. Um, it's a good pore filling primer. I do like the Smashbox Pore Minimizer over this, but I will use this this month. Eyeliner. I have two of these. I think one of them's old. NYX Epic Ink Liner. Love this. My favorite. It's what I'm wearing as my liner today. For powder, my Essence All About Matte Fixing Compact. This is a translucent powder from the drugstore. It's really great. My mascara is the Tarte, Tarte, oh, Tarteiste Lash Paint. And I use this as my mascara today. I actually really like the way it looks on my lashes. Now, I'm going to the pool today. We'll see how it, how it lasts. Have the Essence Mosaic Blush and All You Need Is Pink. I want to hit pan on this in a Rolling Project 10 pan. And you can see, no pan yet, but I have definitely had some good use out of this. I have really been enjoying this blush. Lips. I have my Too Faced Melted Chocolate Lip Liquid Lipstick and Chocolate Milkshake. It is what is on my lips today. I have really been liking this. I feel like this camera is like super tall. I've really been liking this lip product lately. I've been wearing it a lot, so it has definitely been in my bag. I have the Tarte Clay Stick Foundation. I have been working on try, I have been working on trying to use this up this year. Have a little bit to go. It's just kind of a little too heavy for me for the summertime, so I do have it in my bag whenever I do want to use it, but I haven't been reaching for it that often. My last Laura Mercier Rose Gold Caviar Stick. I had like three of these. I had four, but I decluttered one. And this is my last one. I used up the other one last month, and this is how much I have on this one. I really love these eyeshadow sticks. They just aren't cruelty free, but this one is my favorite, so definitely had to put it in here and use it before it goes bad. My brows, I only use the Essence Make Me Brow Eyebrow Gel Mascara in Brownie ba Brows. That is what's in my brows today. Have a Tarte Shape Tape Concealer. I have the shade Light Neutral. Really love this concealer. I just tap it a little bit on my hand and a little bit goes a long way. I just apply it to my under eyes, around my nose, any blemishes, things like that. Love this. I have a Stila Glitter in here. This is the Kitten Karma color. This came in like a little miniature set and I really like using these every now and then and this one's a really pretty one I wanted to use more of. Have a Essence Extreme Lasting Easy Glide Waterproof Silky Nude Eyeliner just for the days I want to go in my waterline which isn't that often lately but I do have it just in case. And then my lip duo that I reach for is my Bite Multi Stick in Cashew. Looks like that. And my kimchi lipstick that I top it with. Lately too, I have been using this a lot. And you guys have been asking a lot about it. This is the NYX Slip Tease and I woke up like this. I have worn this in a couple of videos and you guys have really liked it. I really liked it as well. This is a really nice lip product and I like the shade as well. Got this from a recommendation from Emily Noel. So yeah, I've been using this and that will be in the makeup bag as well. But yeah, those are all the items that I am working on in July for my July makeup basket. Let me know if you guys do these makeup baskets as well. Do you have any similar items you're working on? I'd love to know. And I'll talk to you guys in my next video. Thanks for watching. Bye.